Hello everyone. Today it's like Christmas Day here in Sweden. It's September the 9th and I just got my Xbox One. So basically it was released in Sweden um, already, already last Friday, uh, this September 5th I think. So some of you out there have already tried it of course. Mm, me, I just got it delivered a couple of hours ago, so I'm super excited about this. And I, of course, I will have difficulties not to compare it to the Xbox 360, which, which is my favorite at the moment. And then, um, oh, I'll have to admit, I'm kind of an Xbox fangirl since I do have all my achievements and that will be hard to give up. And that's Actually, that's one of the main reasons I'm getting the Xbox One instead of the competitors. Like, well, I don't think I would get a Wii U, but I, I don't, I didn't think too much of like getting a PlayStation Four either. So this is my choice, like the Xbox One. And I got it as a bundle. So I with it, I got the the game Destiny, and it's the Destiny Vanguard Armory Edition. And basically, I think that means I get some DLC with it. Um, honestly, the only thing I know about Destiny is that it's an action-based MMO sort of game. And somebody told me it, well, it looked a lot like Halo. So we'll have to check that out later. But for now, let's focus on the Xbox One. As I said, I got the Xbox One. In a box, I haven't opened it yet. I'm saving that for you. It has this nice, you know, the green sort of signature color for the, the Xbox. And let me get this up close to you. Nice shiny box, kind of cute, huh? There's a picture of it, of course. So hopefully, it looks it looks something like this. The Xbox was well, it is released in Sweden without Kinect, and I'm not sure. I probably will get it as an you know addition later. But this one, the one I have, I paid around three thousand nine hundred crowns, which would translate in US dollars to so three thousand nine hundred, well four thousand crowns almost for this this bundle would be around six hundred dollars i think us dollars and oh remains to see if it's worth it anyways i'm gonna do the the unpacking now unboxing maybe might be the word i got the scissors ready okay let's begin with opening the destiny for xbox one smells like, you know, a new kind of air mattress you have on the beach. Got that new plastic smell. Oh, I'm too weak. Let's see if I can get this thing open. There we go. Okay. Mm. So, this is it. This is what I got. And actually, I would say this is the... You know the box for the Xbox One games, and it feels a little bit more flimsy than the real ones, like the Xbox for the Xbox 360. It feels, I don't know, I just get this feeling that it's slimmer, and it's a little bit smaller, I guess. I got an expansion pass for the Destiny, and some, you know, codes to redeem on Xbox Live. And uh, well. That was about it, and then I got the Bungie Activision Destiny, the install disk. And now to the fun part. Let's see if I can get this on the camera again. Um, I guess I'll do like this. Okay, I'll just have to keep. You know, I'll just have to pull the. Stop up for you guys. Okay. Xbox One, are you ready? So I'm just gonna see that. Here we go. Ooh. 
This is like a you know sturdy box. It looks like this one might be bigger than the one my Xbox 360. Uh, I got one my my other one in. And how do I do this? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> okay, sorry. There we go. Uh, put that up here. Put some more. Little Xboxy branding in there. Yay! Mm -hmm. Get this out of the way. Okay, so first, I got a quick setup guide that might come in handy when I'm gonna, you know, set it up in a couple of minutes and see how that goes. I got Get Equipped. Oh, I get a trial of Xbox Gold. It might come in handy, but I'm already a gold member. So unless it's a new membership, it doesn't matter. Hey, hey. Next thing coming up is the controller. Of course, always some excitement, but I already tried this one last year on, on GameX, so we'll see if it's any different or if it still looks like the one I tried out on the convention. Batteries are included. Nice, thank you, Microsoft. Hold it up for you. Looks nice, right? On the other side. Got a little brand for Xbox and syncing with Xbox or whatever. Menu button. Some other button I don't know yet. It feels good in my hand. I guess it's a, it, it might be a little bit bigger than the or original one. And I also got a mini USB port here. We'll see what, we, what uses I got for that later. Okay, so that was the controller. Uh, next up is product guide in like a lot of languages. Thank you. Yeah, power supply. That's always a good one. Thank you for including it. Normal, sort of, you know, the one that fits all the screens, and I actually think I could just use the one for the old Xbox as well. Okay, oh yay! A new headset is included. I actually request a pink, but I guess I guess. Xbox Green will have to do. So, uh, looks a little bit flimsy, but I don't know. On the other hand, it might be good that it's lightweight. Uh, looks like there's something like this. Not sure if you can see it. It says Xbox on the side. And it's it's sort of shiny here to match the other parts of the Xbox. And the last part is hmm, I got a button button for lowering and and highing how do you say um, turn the volume up as well as a big ass. <laughs> Sorry, like a very large mute button that might come in handy. And it probably fits on this side of the controller. It snaps in pretty easily. And I should be good to go wireless and just nice laying in the couch gaming. 
next part coming up. So that was the first piece of the box. I'm gonna put up this one. Yeah, more of you know of the power supply stuff. So here they have put this protection plastic on it. So I guess this part is is probably shiny or yes. So this one is I don't even know what it's called, but this is like, you know, power something thingy. And it looks a lot better than the old one. But then again, this is something that I would not front. This is something I hide, you know, behind the counter with all the other electrical stuff. So this one, oh, thanks for making it nicer, I guess. Oh yeah, and here's also a little Xboxy thing. I don't even know what it's called in Swedish, but thanks. Okay, it looks like we're down to the bottom. Included is HDMI cable. Which will be super handy. As I connect it to my TV later today or tonight. High speed HDMI. Let's see if I can get a bit of focus. There you go. Yeah, this is like the most important part, right? And our protection stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Oh, stuck. Ooh. Ah, so I can put that in the box away. Let me know if there's some info you're missing. I'll put it up later, okay? Yay! So now I've gotten down to the real deal. Dum, 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 dum. Hooray! Okay. So what do you think? Pretty shiny, huh? It says Xbox down here in the corner. And this is, you know, air out something where the air gets out, I guess. And the cooling system, it sort of, it uh, had all those little lights in it and where the air comes out, I guess. I hope it doesn't get too hot, like, I have a pretty compressed, how do you say, area where I, I like to put my Xbox and I hope it's not gonna get too hot. But this looks like it is already has a big area that will cool it up. So I'm counting on you Xbox. Let's see. So this will be the area where I put the, the CD in or the gaming disc or whatever. This is super shiny and I would you know bet that it will get all those fatty stains right away unless I dust it off like you know once every hour but there's another little area with the Xbox logo and the side also looks like we got a lot of cool cooling cool cooling excuse me on the back well, okay, first of all, here I have uh, an extra USB port, and there's the connection button, I guess, for connecting other devices, more controllers and such. On the back side, 
we have D. Like this. We have the Xbox, the power supply, I guess. I have an HDMI out for the TV. I have that I don't know, is that for an optical cable or something? I got another an HDMI in, which we, those two are, we will be using later since I have a Blu-ray system where, where I will be, you know, using for as a sound system. I got two more USB ports on the back side. I got a connection for the Kinect, I guess. This is an IR out. And then there is, if this is one is for the network cable. Um, so this basically, I, I I hope it has wireless, right? But if it does not, if it doesn't, this would be for the network for the LAN. So I guess that was that for now. Uh, me and my little Xbox, we you know go and uh, do some <laughs> plugging in, I guess, and. Uh, I'll see if I can get that on video too, and if so, of course I'll share it with you. So, you know, comment and write anything you like, I just love to get feedback, and if there's something you're missing, something you're wondering, whatever, like, all comments make me happy. So, give me a like, or, you know, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, and you would truly make my day. Blah, blah, blah.